اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ اوکے سو آئی ایم ان ام ار گیس اسٹیشن ایٹ ان ایکسون ان ٹیکساس اینڈ ام ابت 7 اورز آؤٹ سائیڈ اف نیو اورلینز لیفٹ ڈالاس یسٹرڈے کائنڈ اف لیٹ سو بین کائنڈ اف موزنگ مائی وے بیک I think I'm also hesitant because I'm apprehensive of the zulm of my family, you know. And uh, I, I like ran away like Musa was running to Madian. And I, I know that I can't be at home very long, you know. I'm, make, I'm planning on making hijrah. Brothers, like, you have no idea. Like, think about the injustice. Like, my whole family attacks my character. Even though for the last 10 years, my father has continuously, like, created a contact with me, go to medical school, do this business, you know, go to school, go do the data ma- science management, like, do this, do that. And then he sabotages me by not fulfilling his promises. You know, brother, like, it's very difficult in America to do anything without support, without capital, without money. And if you, you know, you promise your kid he's going to, he can go to medical school or you promise him he can do this and do that. And you're always breaking your promise and sabotaging him. Whereas the other two kids, you're obviously following th- through sufficiently. Their tuition is getting paid. Everything is happening. My two younger siblings. And then you're, you're like my family turns on me. It's like, oh, you don't work. You don't get a job. You don't do this. You don't do that. And the injustice of like. you know my sisters almost through medical school my brother is starting medical school they have no sense of justice that you know look at their life and they want me to go go get a job brother and why because they don't value like i have faham of the deen i have ilm of the deen um i'm a researcher i there's no aspect of the dunya economics politics science physics like that i'm not interested in curious about and learning about you know think about the injustice and my mom's side of the family instead of supporting me and they know what my father does they know but they they, they want to stay in their ghafla you know they all use my dad they all need my dad or have needed him in the past and he has benefited them in the past more than their haq and you know even this that's the thing with my dad he distributes your haq to other people you know and so i'm about to go home and i'm just tired of it like i'm tired of the abuse from my family you know the psychological abuse not giving me my proper muqam abusing me like my my little brother will put his feet up you know on a sofa which t- blocks the way for me to come into the living room to leave the house and then when i walk into it either i have to walk past his feet and it's like the way he sits on the sofa it's like his feet are going to touch me and i have to go by his feet while he is watching the television and he will not move right it's disrespectful you know my, our mother taught us etiquettes and this and that and then his excuse is that i'm abusive my, of my father wallahi brothers i am not abusive of my father sometimes after like for example after being in for, in america for a year coming back here on the promise that yes you come you get your 10 year indian visa and then you go to india and get married and then coming back and being stuck for a year where that promise is not being fulfilled right and he's not communicating and he's wasting my life at 32 you know when he did it at 21 it was bad in its own way you know because i was 21 and my life potential was ahead of me but him doing at 32 when he's already wasted my life potential the little i can do with my life he is he's is strangling it out and if i cannot i don't have a right to get accept after 11 years of him wasting my life in this way and then doing it again you know that that is zulm like if you do not see the zulm of that you ha- you are ghafil too you know and the pakistani community around us doesn't want to acknowledge it you know they don't want to acknowledge it because i have iman and they they are munafiqs and because i have iman and they are munafiqs they don't want to acknowledge what my father did because they probably do things like that themselves 
you know and even if they don't my father shares their values so he's one of them he's one of the munafiks and i am one of the moments so we are natural enemies even though in the pakistani community no one will come out and say they're my enemy but because i have the deen the asal of the deen and i have iman for that reason no one is willing to protect me you know i am in the state that nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam was before the people of yathrib gave him protection you know i have no protection whatsoever and i am faced with abuse on a daily daily basis and wallahi i am so hesitant to arrive at home like i am so hesitant you know like the injustice of my family is unbearable and like my aunts they call me on eid and they have no shame you know for 11 years this is going on my aunt knows that i've been trying to get married from 14 she's been discussing it from with me from that age and she knows what my father keeps doing and they still call each other on their birthdays and happy birthday akbar bhai and happy birthday rubina and you know they're always like just uh, you know in communication and then she has the audacity to call me on eid and try to act like she has done nothing wrong you know speaking for my haq is my haq upon my blood you know and and they won't do it and they act like they're not doing anything wrong and they're the best family in the world and they do so much and they don't do anything you know family has haq on each other and they don't do anything you know like when my dad abandoned the last context they didn't do anything then before that they didn't do anything then before that they didn't do anything and my father is never at fault and i'm the one who has wasted my life and now i have to accept the consequences and i cannot i have not wasted my life it is my father who has repeatedly sabotaged me and i need justice and restoration to my muqam you know i need restoration to my muqam and I'm just brothers like I need help you know I need the nusrat of the mu'minin I need the nusrat and the wakalat and the wilayat of the mu'minin and as a sayyid I have a haq to it and those of you who have ilm know that as a sayyid I have the haq to your nusra and that when I call you to do to to help me against zulm you know as a mu'min as an ordinary mu'min I have the right upon you but definitely doubly triply quadruple as a as a sayyid I have a haq upon you If you love Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam then you should love his zurriyat you should love his aulad and help you know do something you scholars you ulama you want to sit in your 100000 dollar you know a year cushy jobs at the masjid and you know sit in your nice home and you have no sensibility you know you are the problem you are the rabbis you are the fuqaha you are the people that isa al islam raged at in the in the you are the money changers in the temple you know you are the people who give permission for the money changers to sit in the temple declare for my father a kafir and a munafik that he is make takfir of him publicly shame him into doing the right thing use legal process to get him to do the right thing and and win something for the mu'minin you know help the mu'min stop running your mouth ulama you are not an ulama if you just run your mouth all day right help those help one person each alim should be fighting a, a case for adal you know at least for one person cuz you help one person a thousand people a thousand z- zalimun will think oh i cannot do this anymore you know help one person attain adal you know restore one person to their proper muqam anyways i'm about to roll out and head to louisiana but i i'm i'm making hijrat soon inshallah like but i don't know how i will be received like this sheikh hamza he could have easily connected me to amir ramzan kadirov or habib jifri or some way given me a wasail to ramzan kadirov and i truly believe that ramzan kadirov is a type of amir and has adab of the alhabat that if someone with a little bit of ilm and a little bit of influence reach out to him and said look there is such and such a case of a sayyid will you please help him out and you know you you're in the position to help i guarantee you he would help me out and it would cost you nothing you know and it, you you, do, you cannot even do that matlab wallahi matlab what type of ilm do you have what type of iman do you have what type of adalat do you have what type of pure heart do you have this is a kalb e salim 
where you cannot do this for the aulad of the rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam may the lanat of allah be upon my family and may the lanat of allah be upon the ulama of america